Okay, so this is just going to be a quick little video of the Pioneer VSX ATT XS. So, uh, let's just start off with the back inputs and outputs. Um, so right here is the digital optical output for any uh, source that you may want to be outputting via digital optical. And right there are the four inputs. So there's these four. Right there are the uh, assignable uh, uh, digital coax. And right there at the very bottom, as you can see there, it says XM in. And what that is is for your XM radio. If you have a, you just plug in a receiver to that. And uh, that will receive the XM signals, and you, that's how you would do it. So right here, you see you have the HDMI's. There's one, two, three HDMI ins, and there's one output. Okay, so right here we have the IR inputs. So right there, you have your main room zone one, and uh, this is what I was talking about, where it would. Uh, where this, where I believe that that uh, IR thing goes to, and right there are your 12 volt triggers. Which uh, what the, what a 12 volt trigger is is uh, if you have a CD player or a Blu-ray player, like a really nice one, like a uh, made by Oppo or something like that, you just plug that in, and the Oppo Blu-ray player will turn on at the exact same time as what the uh, the receiver will turn on, and then that's what that is. And right there is your uh, monitor out for uh, a uh, composite video. And right there are your component inputs. So right there is the uh, one, two, three inputs and a output for uh, if you want to put component out to your TV. Okay. And uh, I'm sorry I'm kind of shaky but I'm doing this with a, uh, a, a cell phone. So. And right there is your uh, monitor out if you want to be using S video or uh, composite video. And right there is your uh, all the inputs. So right here are the uh, DVD, TV, satellite, comp uh, composite video inputs. And right there are your four S video inputs. So right there. Okay. And right here is the phono jack. Actually, I should start off right here. Right here are the antennas, the AM and FM antenna, as I showed in the picture. Right here is the uh, audio phono. So if you ever want to connect a uh, like a record player or uh, anything like that, you just connect that to that. Right there is your CD in. So if you have a CD player and you want to connect it via the the analog right there, you just connect it right there. And right there is your multi-channel in. Now what the multi-channel in is for, if you have really, really high-end uh, equipment and uh, you want to connect that, that, what that is, is every the actual player will decode this round for you. So like uh, I know Oppo uh, Blu-ray players have, uh, some Oppo Blu-ray players have this. So right here you connect uh, front left, or front left, front right, subwoofer, center, and surround and back surround. And you would plug that into that, and the uh, actual player would decode it for you instead of the receiver. So I don't know what the advantages to that are, but that's what that is. And uh, right there is your control for the. So you could control whether it turns on and off with it. Um, right here is your iPod. So as you saw from the iPod cable, which is right here, you get it out. So right there. And this right here plugs into that right there. So, and right there is a, uh, I'm guessing it's a computer input, but it's for something else besides a computer. You can't, you can't, uh, I think it's for the uh, auto calibration. I know it has something to do with auto calibration. I think you could finally, to it, uh, finally tune it using a computer. And right there is your pre-outs. So right here is your front left, front right, your subwoofer center, your surround, and your back surround. Okay? And right here are the speaker inputs. Let me just move this. So I could have this right here. So right here's your front, your center, your surround, and your back surround. And your back surround is assignable. 
So if you want to uh, uh, buy amp your front speakers and make it a 5.1, you could do that too. And uh, that's pretty much it. One right here is a uh, AC out. Okay, and that's basically the back of the receiver. And you can also use uh, banana jacks too, so, or banana plugs, depending on what you like to call them. Which are these? So you just stick this. The red goes in the red, obviously, like like that. So yeah, which is what I use for all my. It's just a lot easier to, to connect them up. So you don't have to be untwisting and twisting and so on. And uh, when these come out. They do come off, uh, this, see how it's moving like that? And this is normal. Um, well, I actually called Pioneer on it and they said, yeah, we, we have to do it like that because the way this works is they have to be offset. The, the bolt that this screws into has to be offset a little bit like that. So that way uh, we, it can't be directly in the middle because then you wouldn't be able to put a banana plug in it. And these are banana plug compatible, so it's naturally like that. So don't freak out, it's normal. They all do that, each and every one. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the front of the receiver. Not too much to see here. Uh, there's just a Pioneer logo. There's a uh, on and standby button. There's the XM ready symbol. There's the phase control. There's an HDMI. And right here is the actual main main uh, display. Right here is the MCACC logo. Right here is the digital video scaler. And right there is the Air Studio and THX2. And go back over here. Right here are some buttons. Right here is your face control, MACC position. Uh, Auto surround and steam direct or peer direct. Right here's your input knob. Right here is your front dis your front panel. So it just pops down like that. Right here you have your headphone jack. Right here is your tuner. Right here's your presets. Enter setup button return. Right here's your microphone input. Right here is your you can see it. It's kind of dark, but I guess you can't see it. It says band. That says it says the the room two. So on and there's off. Right here is your video select. Here's your surround back processing. Your stereo. Right here are some front inputs. So right here you have a digital optical input. Here's the S-video input and your right here are three co uh, composite inputs. So yellow, red, and white. Actually that would be red and that would be white. And that's pretty much it. Right here is your inputs and right here is your master volume knob. And right here is your surround sound modes. So just surround sound modes right there. And right there is what it looks like when it's on. So HDMI 1. So right here you have Prologic 2X Movie. For THX settings, uh, Prologic THX. Cinema THX for Neo 6 DTS. Uh, THX games mode, THX movie, and blah blah blah. Uh, there's the regular Dolby surround sound modes, so just go through those. Okay, and right here is, is your uh, surround mode, so there's action, uh, sci fi, drama, the effects, um, musical. Monofilm, 70 theater, uh, classical, chamber, jazz, rock, dance, and I use this one a lot, which is a 7 channel stereo. It sounds really nice with music. 
and that's why I use uh, some channel stereo. And next one is advanced uh, virtual surround for two channel stereo. Okay, and also the headphone jack does have a surround sound processor as well, so that way it, it mixes the surround sound mode and it'll make it sound like it's a surround sound headset, kind of. That's what that is. Okay, that's what that is. And that's the entire front display. And I don't have anything HDMI connected to it right now, but that uh, symbol will light up red when HDMI is on. And so will the video scaler. And that's the front panel. Okay, so quick little shot of the remote. So right there all your pretty self-explanatory you get used to it and what this does is it shows you what mode you're in so it says receiver main if you're in satellite we'll show that and uh, TV control and iPod and so on and there's your remote there's the main power button as you can see it'll turn off and on so yeah there's your remote okay so this is just a test of uh, how kind of the receiver sounds and this is the uh, welcome center of Bioshock Infinite Excuse me, where am I? Heaven. Or well, as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. I just keep such questions to myself unless I want to get made. And every year. On this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Arthur Constable. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at the end of the year and not railed against the sun beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just read is it someone new? Someone from the southern below? Newly come to Columbia to be warned clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Anyway, that was just a, kind of what the receiver sounds like. No, it's not the best of tests, but anyway, thanks for watching this video.